Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Scorpio, how are you doing? Hope you're doing amazing. I hope you are as excited as I am for the holidays. Not sure how you guys do it on your side, but on our side we get pretty, pretty serious about holidays. <laughs> we celebrate in big. So anyways, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month remaining of November 2021 regarding their love life and romance? What can we expect? What is unfolding for them for the next coming weeks? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. One more shuffle and we're getting into your reading, Scorpio. All right, first card here is the Hanged Man. Partner's card is the Six of Cups here. We also have the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Partner's card is the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Scorpio. You are experiencing being able to see things from a very different perspective. For some of you guys, I see you've been dealing with a situation where you've been really challenged in regards to uh, wanting to know or, or being able to direct where this connection or this relationship is going. I see you putting a lot of effort in the past uh, regarding this connection or this relationship. At this point, I feel you being a little bit more guarded. I feel you guys... Uh, pulling back or uh, detaching yourself from the situation. It's almost like there is a need, uh, a major need, I should say, to protect your energy or to protect your heart. Seven of Wands can also indicate standing your ground. Um, this is almost like a standing your ground in regards to what your partner or person of interest is expecting in this connection. It's almost like it usually falls on you or all the responsibility usually falls on you. And it's like at this point, you're realizing that that in itself could potentially be uh, a toxic trait. Um, it's kind of like us getting our partner or person um, of interest, getting used to um, or getting them used to knowing that we're kind of the glue that holds the relationship together. Um, and in, of course, in a relationship, it takes two people to make it work. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation in the past where there was a lot of self-sacrificing. There was a lot of you uh, going above and beyond for your person, um, even uh, letting certain things slide or not really vocalizing what was affecting you or what you needed in the relationship. And I feel like the, your willingness to put effort and energy only made them feel uh, like they could continuously keep pushing the envelope. Um, and I see you guys getting to a point of knowing or getting tired of dealing with that type of energy, of feeling like all the work or effort or everything that you were willing to put in this relationship, like it was never enough. And you started asking yourself, is this really what I want to continue doing do I really want to continue sacrificing myself and my happiness only to make that other person happy or to accommodate their needs? Um, and finally getting to the point with the Ten of Wands of, uh, like I said, standing your ground, dropping the burdens or dropping the burden of what it was to carry this relationship. Um, now, I do see here the Six of Cups for some of you guys. If you are dealing with this situation, I see the partner coming back around and trying to offer some type of either apology or some type of wanting to reconnect or rekindle this connection, wanting to prove uh, that it is you who they want in their lives. Now, for others of you around the time that this person comes back around with an apology or trying to uh, prove something to you, um, and I feel that it is coming from a very like sincere place, I do see the Nine of Cups here with the Hierophant. So there is definitely, for some of you guys, this could be the partner uh, coming back around, willing or wanting to give you um, a higher elevation of commitment. For some of you guys, this could even represent like your hopes and dreams finally being able to, to see manifested in this relationship or in this connection. 
But for others of you, what I'm getting is around the time that the person is coming back around trying to apologize or trying to get on your good side, I see a wish fulfillment coming. Um, but with the six of cups here and the Hierophant, I feel like it's coming from a different connection. So for some of you guys, again, the person that is apologizing or coming back around and realizing that, yes, I do want Scorpio in my life. Around that time frame, there's a new person that comes in that sparks your interest. And this is a person that off the bat is going to be like night and day. It's going to be the person that is going to go above and beyond for you. It's a person that without you even expecting them to show up to the first date with roses, that's what they bring to you. Um, that they're whining and dining you. This is the type of energy that um, is very willing. And it's kind of like almost seeing yourself in a mirror because when you start to see this person treat you this way, there's an acknowledgement of understanding that this is kind of the energy that you were taking on with your previous relationship. And it's like, you know, very surreal for you because you're realizing everything that I was doing for my partner, this person is willing to do for me without me really asking or expecting to be treated that way. So what Spirit is telling you ultimately here is uh, really give yourself the opportunity. Um, don't hold back because a person from the past or don't hold um, your happiness on time out just to see if this person really reacts. What Spirit is telling you is keep it pushing. Keep working on yourself. Keep going out. Keep having fun, Scorpio. Because there is people out there that are willing to prove to you through actions that they want you in their life. And those are the people that you need to be giving your effort and energy to. Not to the ones that continuously keep letting you uh, letting you down or that continues to keep uh, you know, showing you that they're not willing or capable of keeping your emotional fulfillment. So again, um, I do see, you know, if you've been hoping to get reconnected or uh, reconnected, um, uh, rekindle a connection or uh, expect a partner or the ex-partner if there is a temporary separation for them to be coming back around. Don't be surprised. You will definitely be hearing from them. Just keep in mind around the time that they do show or decide to show up in your life is when a new person comes into your life. And what Spirit is telling you is give yourself the opportunity to be happy, Scorpio. I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays again. Hope um, and wish for you guys the very best. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.